Greetings everyone from the Jersey Shore. <laughs> Running a little getaway. I thought I'd give my first Sunday of Advent homily. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so will it be at the coming of the Son of Man. In those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in into marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. They did not know until the flood came and carried them all away. So will it be also at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be out in the field, one will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and one will be left. Therefore stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour of the night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you must also be prepared for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. I think it's really beautiful when we reflect on Advent to, first of all, think about what we're preparing for, which is the birth of Christ. And one thing I'd like to encourage everyone to think about is, what would you like to offer Christ for his birthday? You know, one time a young man asked me, a little, a little kid, Father Michael, why are we giving each other presents if it's Christ's birthday? You know, that usually doesn't happen on someone's birthday. We give the person whose birthday the presents. So I'd like to encourage all of you to, to in prayer, take it to Jesus. You know, on, on the first Sunday of Advent, Jesus, what would you like for your birthday from me? What can I start wrapping? What can I give you? What will gratify you? What's going to please you? Maybe it's going to be a little more charity towards someone I struggle with. Maybe it's going to be greater patience. Maybe a little more humility, a little more generosity. I don't know. Each one of us has something that Christ wants from us. We're getting in his way. We're slowing him down. Ask him, Jesus, what do you want from me? What's your favorite present? You know, I know at Christmas, I always knew that my brothers would always get my favorite present because they knew me. You know, they knew I wanted that sand wedge. They wanted that hockey stick. I wanted those hockey skates. You know, nobody else really knew me like my brothers in terms of gifts. Well, make Christ happy and ask him what he wants. Don't give him what you think he wants. And the second thing in regards to today's gospel, it talks about, you know, the coming of Christ, but also the final coming of Christ, which is judgment. Our judgment. The reality that we're not here forever. As I was praying out here this morning, early in the morning, I was thinking, you know, the ocean is kind of like an eternal place. The waves keep coming in and out. People keep walking the beach. How many years? How many years have people been walking this beach? Reflecting on life. Thinking about a lot of things. And I think it's really important to step back and say, God, you know, help me prepare for my meeting with you. Am I living my life in a way that I'm ready to die today? Am I at peace with myself? Is there something I need to change? Is there something that right now weighs on me that I'm not addressing? Maybe a relationship. Maybe, you know, somebody I'm not getting along with that I really need to, to work on. I remember my mom, for many reasons, had a, a little bit of a difficult relationship with one of her sisters. I can't get into it. But she took the high road and she went to reestablish that relationship, even though it was difficult. And I thought it was really cool that, you know, she took that initiative and made that effort. And then her sister died and, you know, she was at peace about that. So just encourage everyone to really take that to heart, to really um, pray about our final judgment. And more importantly, start getting ready for Christmas, which is the coming of Christ now for us on December 25th. God bless you and hope you have a wonderful remaining getaway. God bless. Amen.